So as far as the cocktail goes, we have some really interesting ingredients. Um, might sound a little weird to some people, so what kind of flavors can we expect? You know, it's actually pretty straightforward and pretty, um, pretty smooth. I like it a lot. It's going to be gin-based, but it's kind of light in alcohol, so okay. with an ounce of gin, it's not an overpowering juniper flavor. Um, once you roast beets, they get a little bit sweeter, so I find the beet flavor to be more on the sweet side than the earthy side, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, and then that sheep's milk yogurt just adds the slightest hint of a kind of tanginess. The yogurt sounded like the weird part of, of all of it, so um, you know, it sounds like it's going to be pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and get to it. Okay. All right. Um, so again, first ingredient is going to be our Woody Creek gin. It's going to be an ounce of gin for one cocktail. Okay. And we're making two right now. We're so. making two so we can have a drink yeah. together. All but, right. you know, normally it would be an ounce. In this case, we did two. Okay. Um, and then we take the Creole shrub, orange liqueur. This is from Martinique. Um, you can do any number of different orange liqueurs would do the trick. Okay. Um, it's going to be half an ounce for each drink. So we got an ounce there. And same thing with the simple syrup and the juice, um, an ounce of each. So we're going to be doing four two, an ounce of each. Great. It's going to kind of add a little bit of, um, obviously, acidity to the drink, having some lemon, and then sugar balances that. All right. And then finally, we have the beet puree. Um, beet puree is going to be, like I said, local roasted beets, just enough water to kind of thin it, and then the sheep's milk yogurt. Yeah. Um, and that is going to be two ounces for one cocktail. It's such a cool color. It's a very pretty color. I mean, I think regardless if you're into gin, beets, whatever, you see that color in the cocktail. In you're gonna want to try it. Want it. Yeah. I mean, when you have people sitting here, I'm sure they probably start asking. It catches what people's are you eye for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of rosemary in just for a little bit more uh, fall flavor. Okay. Get a little herbaceous sort of. Exactly. Going in there. Exactly. And shake it up. All right. Yeah. It depends on the kind of ice you have. If you feel like your ice is real light, I just shake it for maybe 15 or 20 seconds. Okay. If you have some real hefty ice, maybe I'd give it a few seconds longer. Okay. So, shake it depends. Your hands Basically, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have the. Uh, let's see how this looks. We always fine strain it since we do have some rosemary floated in there. Look at that color. Double strain. Double strain, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it looks so beautiful. People want to try it and then they taste it and it's, yeah. you know, like I said, very accessible. It's not too, not too weird. Yeah, and basically if you put in the time to just make the beet puree, bring it to a party, you will probably be the You hit. got a hit, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> right. And we're gonna garnish with a little bit of rosemary. Just kind of. Put some green in it. Put some green, yeah, a little green. extra color. And put a tiny bit of beet powder, which is basically just dehydrated beets. Okay. Dehydrate them overnight, adds a little bit more uh, taste and a little bit more color. So. Okay. Let's make the cocktail there, the sheep of faith. Awesome. Well, let's cheers it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Yep. Refreshing, great texture. Mm -hmm. Delicious. And the yogurt gives it just like that ever slight, slightest bit of a uh, creaminess to it. Yeah, just the tiniest bit. I love it. Fantastic. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. No problem. Everybody come down to the way back and try this one.